So today it's time for another application of liquid fertilizer. Of course today it was supposed to be calm and very little wind, but that doesn't turn out to be the case most of the time here where I live. So quickly I'm going to switch out this tip on my sprayer and see if I can use the tip that I like to use for more of a foliar spray. I'm going to go test that out with some plain water on the driveway and see if it's too windy for it. I still want to be putting down the product onto the yard and not having it mist everywhere and just going into the air. So I'm going to test that really quick. It's the same thing I would recommend if you just get a sprayer and you're not sure how to use it or you want to see the spray pattern on whatever tip you decide to use. Put some plain water in it and just go spray on your driveway where you can kind of see exactly what's going to happen. And if you need to make an adjustment on a tip, I do have one that's better for windier conditions and I'll switch out to that if I have to. So it's just a great way visually to go and check and see kind of what the spray pattern is looking like. Obviously on the driveway you can get a sense of is everything being applied evenly and kind of your walking speed to put down an even thing as well. And now if you've never sprayed your area and you want to kind of understand how fast you need to walk in order to empty a gallon per thousand, let's say if that's the rate you want to put down. So you can just put plain water in and do the exact same thing. Go walk your area with plain water and see if you can get the timing down of your walking speed to put down one gallon per thousand if that's what you're spraying. So that's a way to practice it, especially with clean water. You can do it as many times as you need to in order to get your timing to be as close as possible. I'm still getting a decent amount of drift and that's to be expected with this type. So I'm gonna try an air induction. This is gonna put out a little larger droplet size. This is going to help with the drift when you use an air induction. So I don't know how well that showed there on camera, but you get a lot more control with the air induction in terms of it's not nearly as affected by wind, but you do have a larger droplet size for sure, larger than the fan tip that came with that sprayer, which has worked okay for me in a lot of situations if it's not too windy, but it does drift a little, so you need to be careful with that, especially if you're spraying any sort of herbicides or anything. You wanna make sure that you're not doing that in windy conditions, that you're using a proper tip that's not going to drift all over the place. So there's a couple different ways that you can apply liquid fertilizer and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new box that we have that many many of you asked for after we came out with the Ryan Orlon Essentials box that has the hose end sprayer versions and smaller bottles in it many of you asked if there would be a possibility for larger sizes that you can use for either refilling those little bottles or maybe you have a little larger yard that you want to be able to spray or you prefer to backpack spray and you want to just use the liquids and put them right into your backpack so today that's exactly what we have available for you another super cool looking box as well but this is the gallon box so three of the products from the smaller box are in here in gallon sizes we have the 1648 we have the lawn energizer and we have the soil hume which has kelp in it so today I'm gonna to be using the 1648 liquid fertilizer out of here putting it in the backpack sprayer and spraying now spoon feeding is my program on the low cut turf but you can do this on taller cut turf if you would like as well it depends on how much you want to be out in your yard but actually keeping things slow and steady throughout the year is a fantastic program. And I use various different products. I don't use the same thing every time. If you do use the same thing every time, that's cool too. Whatever your program is, if you want some consistency with using the same products, that's fine. I like to kind of think of it as I don't like to eat the same thing every single day. So I give the lawn a few different things throughout the year as well, just to give it some variety, give it some different formulas. And every single fertilizer that I use has slightly different ingredients in it to kind of give us some balance throughout the year. So that's kind of my program. Let's get the 1648 out of here and get it in the sprayer. So like I mentioned, I like to apply some different things throughout the year just for some balance of everything. So you can see you have your nitrogen, your phosphorus, and your potassium in here, but you also have some kelp and you have some fish. So you get a couple little organic things added to this. That's why I also like this product for a little balance of things. So this can still be used in your hose end sprayers like this if you want to refill or if you have your own hose end sprayer, you can fill it up and use the product that way. Or today, looking at the label, you've got pump up sprayer, which would be our backpack sprayer type of method. 
and this recommends four ounces per thousand to put into the backpack sprayer. So I'm gonna measure out four ounces. I have 4,000 square feet to spray, so obviously I need 16 ounces of this product to go into my sprayer. So I'm going to fill up the sprayer halfway with water, add the 16 ounces of product, and then I'll be ready to spray. So that's as easy as it gets right there. The wind actually calmed down a lot just as I started spraying. So that actually helped in my favor as well to get a nice even coat on everything. A couple things to note if you are in a warm climate, make sure you're not spraying at the hottest part of the day. I'm in the 60s here today in my climate, so I'm totally fine to be spraying when I am. But otherwise, in the early morning or early evening, a lot of times as I get to summertime, I like to do this around dusk once everything gets calm right before it gets dark. So that's a good time frame if you get into the warmer part of the season. Also, let this sit on the leaves blade now and go to work for a little while but make sure that you run your irrigation and I do mine at around 4 or 5 a.m. when I water so I'll set that up for tonight and have that run so that I make sure that everything gets really watered in and that way you make sure that you get that product to sit on the leaf for a little while then also get irrigation on it. Another quick tip as well that I find helpful when you're doing spraying is wearing some polarized sunglasses. It can help you to actually see where you're spraying a lot better. You'll see the water on the grass a little more clearly than if you don't have sunglasses on. That's also why I like spraying at dusk because it feels like you can see exactly where you're spraying a little bit better. But that is a quick tip there on polarized sunglasses and helping you out to see where you're spraying. If you'd like to see some more on spoon feeding or some other forms of fertilizer and how to apply them, check out this video that I did earlier this year. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.